one of the things we're seeing now is chat GPT. Mm -hmm. right. Chat GPT, which is this fascinating uh, AI program that essentially scours the entire internet for answers for things and is so good at it. Hollywood production is being transformed by artificial intelligence. Bill Gates is warning of the risks of artificial intelligence. Um, thinking about AI for a long time. The artificial intelligence. But now AI is everywhere. You know, I've always thought of AI as the most profound technology, more profound than fire or electricity or anything that we have done in the past. Artificial intelligence. These two words have been resonating across the globe recently. It doesn't matter if it's the neighborhood coffee shop or the executive boardroom, these words seem to be on everyone's lips. Man, not even Drake is free from all this AI stuff. Ever since ChatGPT dropped, everyone is trying to use AI in some sort of way now. We have Microsoft with Bing AI, we have Google with their chatbot Bard, and yes, we even have Meta, the company that went head first and was so committed to the metaverse that they changed their name, has now been doing a bit of a pivot to AI. We even got some stranger, dare I say, unnecessary AI sort of integrations, such as Snapchat's chatbot. Um, don't know what's up with that, don't need it. Anyway, I can't even blame businesses and people for wanting to jump on this AI hype train. Um, there's the obvious reason why, and it's just that it's such a hugely trending topic right now, and everyone wants to try and benefit from it. But AI will change the way we work, the way we live. Yes, even the way we think. But what I want to find out is how does AI affect tech businesses and the roles within them? And today, that's what we're going to be going into. Now, before we get into this video, I need to give a quick shameless plug to an event we run quarterly called ELX. ELX is an open forum for engineering leaders to come network and discuss and share their ideas. Now, on the 25th of May, literally this coming Thursday, we are doing an ELX on this exact topic. So if you are interested, make sure you grab a ticket in the description below. It's free and we would love to see you there. Now, some of you might have noticed the buildings behind me. These are some of the biggest companies in Australia and all of them will be affected by AI. When we talk about AI automating processes, we are essentially referring how AI can handle repetitive tasks. From customer service bots answering queries to algorithms that sort through massive amounts of data, AI is becoming the new productivity powerhouse in tech business. The magic here is the efficiency and productivity. Imagine this instead of having a team working around the clock handling customer complaints, an AI powered chatbot could do this nonstop and never tiring and never ever needing a coffee break. What's more, this leads to substantial cost saving with AI being able to handle the grunt of the work. Companies can save on labor costs, not to mention the reduction, in er the reduction in errors, which can also be costly to fix as well. AI automation also allows tech businesses to scale their operations in ways just you just can't match with humans, like at all. Think about a customer service bot can handle multiple queries simultaneously, meaning as the business grows, the AI can grow with it as well. And it's not just about the businesses. For you and me as customers, AI can significantly improve our experience. Faster, more accurate responses? Sounds pretty good to me, I can't lie. So what does data analysis and decision making really mean when it comes to AI? Essentially, we're talking about how AI can process and analyze large amounts of data. We're talking big, big data to extract valuable insights, and then we can use that insights to make informed decisions. With AI, businesses can make sense of data that would take humans years to analyze. But it's not just about the speed. It's about accuracy and the ability to spot patterns and trends that likely you and me would miss if we were doing it. These insights are like gold for businesses. They can reveal new market opportunities, improve customer service, optimize products and services, and even predict future trends, giving companies a significant competitive advantage. Let's translate this into simpler terms. With AI, a company could predict if a product will sell even before it launches. Now that is transformative. Let's bring this with a real life example. Have you ever wondered how Google predicts what you're about to type in the search box? Well, that's AI powered predictive analytics at work. By analyzing massive amounts of data, Google can predict common search terms and saving you time and effort. Even though most of us are used to this feature by now, it's kind of magical, right? For users, this means a better, smoother online experience. 
For businesses like Google, it means more engagement, increased user, user satisfaction, and ultimately higher revenue. AI is revolutionizing the way tech businesses analyze data and make decisions, offering a level of insight and predictive power that is truly transformative. When we talk about personalization and customer experience in relation to AI, we're looking at how AI uses data and understands individual behaviors, enabling it to tailor experiences unique to our needs and preferences. Ever wonder why your social media feed seems to know the kind of content that you like or somehow your streaming platform just recommends the correct shows you want to watch that's right up your alley? Well, that's all AI. For us customers, personalization means more relevant content, less time wasted and a better overall experience. Who wouldn't want that, am I right? Businesses benefit enormously too. Personalization can significantly boost customer satisfaction, drive customer loyalty, and ultimately lead to, once again, higher revenue. Plus, it can also provide valuable insights for future product development. Let's bring this back with another real life example. Have you ever used Spotify's Discover Weekly playlist? It uses AI to analyze your listening habits and preferences. Then it creates a personalized playlist just for you based off that data. I can't tell you how much great music I've found because of this feature, and it's only gonna get better from here. It's like having a personal DJ that knows exactly what you listen to and exactly what song you want next in the mix. For Spotify, it means increased user engagement, retention, and satisfaction. Spotify knows this too with this release of its new AI DJ feature. In my opinion, we're going to see hyper-personalized content recommendations and marketing taking over in the next decade. AI will tailor content to our unique tastes and preferences, whether it's movies, music, or products, it will be tailored to exactly what you want. Now let's talk about what everyone is kind of thinking. What will be the impact of AI on our jobs? We have AI algorithms that are dealing with massive data sets. We have AI virtual assistants that are dealing with queries in real time. And we also have robots that are coding. All this makes you wonder, what is even left for us humans? Well, quite a lot actually. Um, I mean, at least I hope so. Look, the way I see it is, is that people are still going to be needed in tech roles in the next decade. So I think we're pretty good for now. All our roles are still gonna be there. It's kind of just a matter of adapting AI to your role because if you aren't, I guarantee you there's someone that will be. And if you don't, you're gonna be seen less valuable as an employee. Let's have a look at the ways AI will affect our job. Now, there is the obvious one, which me, you, and all the Gary V enthusiasts are probably using right now, and it's the automation of tasks. There will be a point in time, mark my words, where everyone will be using automation via AI in some sort of way to improve their workflow. Now look, whether it's a pain in the ass email or literally a basic coding task, people will use it. And AI is really good at freeing up our time to do more important things. Not only that, it's also gonna open up some new roles to people. We are talking AI specialists, data scientists, and even AI ethics officers. Now, don't forget, there are still roles that require people to understand the technology, but also its applications and its implications. But don't just take my word for it. According to the World Economic Forum, by 2025, AI and automation will create more jobs than it eliminates. Companies like Google, Amazon, and even Microsoft are constantly looking for AI specialists. There's also an increasing demand for professionals that understand and can navigate the ethical, social, and cultural implications of AI. So while AI is changing the tech role landscape, it is also creating more roles along the way. Now, it is important to keep in mind that humans are still vital because they have emotional intelligence, creativity, ethical oversight, and also the ability to understand context. AI struggles to understand nuances and also adapt to new situations. I mean, at least for now anyway. These are areas where humans excel. Now, don't forget, there are also roles where trust kind of plays a massive part in it. Um, and if you're speaking to a chatbot, it doesn't really give that, that same feeling of trust as when you're speaking to a human. Not to mention, there's also a bunch of roles that require very big decisions to be made that we wouldn't want AI to be making. Do we want AI choosing who gets laid off Probably not. Therefore, in the future, we're probably more likely going to see humans working with AI alongside it to utilize the advantages of both humans and AI. What's up, guys? It's actually editing Brenton here, and I actually got the chance to speak with Rick Green from Workwear Group, where I got to ask him a question about AI. So here's that clip right here. 
Also, the question I asked Rick is, what advice would you give someone joining the tech industry now, considering this growth of AI? Yeah, well, I think <laughs> this is a double-edged sword there. Um, so, you know, if your intents are good, um, you know, these tools, as I said, are augment your, your um, reality in a sense or what you're doing. Um, if you use them as any other tool you would use, whether it's Excel or who knows what, um, you know, harnessing them you can create a hell of a lot more value really quickly um, and it's being open to embracing them along the way um, for younger people coming to the workforce that's probably not a big challenge but for people existing in the, the workforce um, and doing that change piece and trying to get on board with some of these changes is probably the challenge um, and yeah you know, the fear um, sort of thing so but there's on the more nefarious side there's probably a whole bunch of range of things you could be doing with this stuff and um, yeah, clocking up paychecks without actually having done a hell of a lot. Now you're probably thinking, Brenton, are you some sort of AI yourself spewing AI propaganda? Why aren't you discussing the ethical concerns that come along with AI? And for you, I have to say, don't worry, that's what we're covering right now. You know how we all love our smart devices, right? They seem to know us better than we know ourselves sometimes. They are picking the perfect playlist for our run, they are finding us the quickest route to work, and they're even reminding us to water our plants. But have you ever stopped to think how much they actually know about you and what they are doing with all that information? The thing is, with these devices we use, well, more so the artificial intelligence and the services we use, these thrive on data, big time. Data that includes our preferences, habits, locations, interactions, and more. And this is where we stumble across our first issue that lies with AI, and that is about data privacy. Yes, our data is quite literally the heart of AI, but with this collection of data, this can often lead to breaches of privacy. Now, do you know how your data is being collected or how it's being used? What if your data falls into the wrong hands? Then there's the issue of transparency. AI systems kind of work on this black box decision-making method where we can't really see how they are coming up with these decisions. And if we don't fully understand it, how can we really trust the system? And let's not forget bias. Just like a student mimicking a teacher, AI learns from data, and if that data is biased, then AI can be too. This could lead to unfair outcomes in very important areas, such as law enforcement, lending, or even hiring. Another concern that comes off quite often and rightfully so, is the concern about job loss. Now, we all know that AI is really good at automating tasks, but what if in the future, AI is so good that it can quite literally do a job by itself better than a human? What makes you think that companies will not replace these people with AI just to maximize profits? I know what I think it will be, and let me tell you, it's not the moral choice. What happens to the people's jobs that are taken by AI? How do we make a safety net for them? Now, lastly, ethical decision-making is a gray area with AI. Now picture this, there's a self-driving car that's about to get in an accident. How does it decide what to do? And if something does go wrong, who's at fault here? Is it the programmer? Is it the car? Is it the user? These are all things that need to be discussed. Now look, I know you guys can't tell, but this is actually the third time I'm trying to make this damn video. I started off with doing this info dump on how AI is going to impact businesses and also roles. Um, and then I tried shortening it down, making it a little bit more punchier. And at the end, it still felt stale. And the reason for that is I didn't really have a why I wanted to make it, what the outcome wanted to be. It wasn't until I started making the video, restarting the script again and asking that question first, then I finally understood, understood what that was meant to be. Do you want to guess what that outcome might be from this video? With great power comes great responsibility. Now, as AI infiltrates every part of our life, we understand that it is a tool, but a very, very powerful tool with some serious concerns. And we need to make sure that we are doing it ethically and responsibly and knowing when to draw the line. Tech companies have the responsibility that they are using data that is transparent and also unbiased. They need to be clear about how they're collecting this data and what it's being used for as well. And when things do go wrong, and they will at some point, I guarantee you that, these tech companies need to take responsibility for their actions and try to do what's right. 
Now, as individuals, we need to understand how AI works, how it's going to impact our lives, and how we can use it effectively and responsibly at the same time. We need to make informed decisions on what AI services we are using that are powered by AI. We need to voice our concerns when there are things that are that are at play that we don't understand and we have concerns about. Let's not forget the governments and lawmakers. They play a crucial role in making sure there are regulations in place that make sure that our rights are not being infringed on and AI is being used for the good and not for the evil. Now, yes, AI does have drastic ways it could improve our lives, like seriously unprecedented, but we need to make sure that these ethical concerns are at the forefront of everything we are doing. Now, this leads us to the future of AI. Now, take this with a grain of salt because I'm not a professional and some of these things could be wrong, but from my research, this kind of seems like a possible future in the next 10 years or so. Hopefully, it, hopefully it's like this, best case scenario at least. AI will be more integrated into our daily lives, from our homes to our offices. It is gonna be everywhere and it's gonna be here to make our lives 10 times easier. Now in the world of business, AI is going to drive change and also drive competitiveness. Now they're not only just going to use it to automate tasks, but they're also going to use AI's power to process large amounts of data to improve existing products and services they already have, and also to build on new ones. Not to mention, there's going to be a huge demand for AI skills, so it might be something worth looking into. Now for us, we're going to be leveraging AI to work with us instead of against us. We're going to use the strengths of not only us as humans, but AI. Now this is going to be a wild ride and both you and me have a ticket, so let's try and make the best of this AI-driven future. There you have it guys, the rapid progression of AI is truly changing the industry for not only businesses but also people. This will provide unique chances that we've never ever seen before. Now in saying that, it also brings up ethical concerns that we need to consider. Now both tech companies and individuals have the responsibility to make sure AI is being used Fairly. We need to push for responsibility, data privacy, and accountability. Now, not to mention, the government needs to do their government thing and put in regulations to make sure that AI cannot be misused. So whether you work in tech or own a business, it is up to you to champion for responsibility when it comes to the use of AI.